In the latest in what has become the war between the ACC and the SEC, and also to conclude the first full weekend of college football week one, it's Tennessee and Georgia Tech in Atlanta, where Alabama, of course, won uh, just a couple of nights ago last night against uh, Florida State uh, in the ACC against the SEC. We bring in uh, Charlie Burris uh, from Orange and White Report to help us break down uh, the ball side of things. And, uh, of course, Charlie, uh, while the national narrative is ACC versus SEC and who is really the best in college football, I think Butch Jones has some more important uh, uh, aspects of the game to worry about. Uh, so your thoughts about uh, Tennessee football, where it stands right now, uh, what you grasp from fall camp and uh, how this team is looking for 2017. This is a really interesting year for Tennessee. That That's the best way that I can put it. That, that's the word that I just keep coming back to. Like, There's so many unknowns that – to watch this unfold is going to be really, really compelling. Uh, that That's my biggest takeaway as of right now. I watched all fall camp, went to, I think I missed only two of the practices that we had available for media. So I've tried to get in as much as possible, trying to figure out what this team is all about. And I still am not sure. <laughs> uh, it, it really, there's, there's so much about this team that is just, we're not going to know until they really get out there on the field. Tons of youth, obviously a new, new quarterback, um, which if for anyone who's watching doesn't know, it's Jerick Guantano and Quentin Dormady. Jerick Guantano is a sophomore, and Quentin Dormady is a junior. And Quentin Dormady is the assumed guy, but the coaches have hinted at a two-quarterback system. Goodness knows what's going to happen there. You do know who your running back is. That's a plus. You know who your – and John Kelly. You know who your star wide receiver is, Juwan Jennings. And then really past that at almost every position. Uh, your best defensive tackle is uh, went out last season with a knee injury, and so you're not exactly sure where he is. That's Shy Tuttle. Um, your defensive end, you lost Derek Barnett to the Eagles. He's killing it in the NFL. And now you have Jonathan Congo, who did next to nothing last year, but came in as a five-star. So you don't know what's going on there. Um, at, at linebacker, there's two injuries. Darren Kirkland Jr. went out. He's your star. And then uh, Austin Smith, he and Derek Kirkland Jr. is after the season. Austin Smith is your starting Sam linebacker. At least that's what the depth chart said. And he just went down with an injury, and the full extent of that hasn't been uh, determined yet. So it's just at every single level, it's like, uh, it looks like we have something that might work, but uh, we're not totally sure exactly where this team's going to be at. So hopefully that makes sense. But I, I would just say, this entire team is almost just one giant question mark. 